Hi. Vocabulary connected to law and justice can be a little bit tricky, and you see it all the time on the news. So I'm going to help you out today by telling you a story about my friend and her neighbor, John. My friend was suing John because he had broken the fence that divided their gardens. Um, and to sue someone means to accuse someone formally to the police. And you normally want some compensation back. And they reached an agreement. John was going to pay for everything. And the police had to come round to inspect. But then they found some blood on the fence, which was then connected to the disappearance of a man a few months before. John was then arrested and charged with murder by the attorney or the prosecutor. Now, when you press charges against someone, you are charged with a crime. So this John was now charged with murder, and he was now the defendant in the law courts. Defendant is a bit of a false friend because you are accused of something. Now, you're represented by a lawyer, and lawyer is a term for anyone that practices law. And there are lots of different words connected to this. For example, attorney, prosecutor, and in Britain, we have solicitors and barristers. Now, it's their job to produce evidence, which is what helps us prove someone's innocence or guilt. And my friend was also called as a witness, and so she had to tell the court what she had seen one night which was John acting very suspiciously, running across her garden late at night, carrying some carrier bags and a spade. So the jury reached a verdict, guilty. John was found guilty of murder. And he'd also buried the body of this man in my friend's garden. So she's leaving the house as soon as possible. So if anyone knows of anyone that wants to buy a house, I know one going very cheap. Bye.